Each new day, we are reminded that we can try again, get another chance and make a clean start. With each new month, we can reconnect with God anew with a prayer of a fresh start. Happy new month, DCIKZ family. It is the 2nd of June, 2024, still the year of threshing the mountains. We are so glad that you chose to worship with us today. Welcome to today's on-screen announcements. My name is Lily Narima and I will be taking you through. Karibu. In the Great Commission, Jesus tells us to go out and make disciples of all nations. At the DCIKZ, we have weekly evangelism on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays from 2pm to 4.30pm. We gather at the DCIKZ main campus and evangelize within Zimmerman. If you'd like to be part of this team, please reach out to Pastor Alex Charago at the Shiloh Worship Center and Pastor Edward Mulwa at the DCIKZ main campus. Remember, you can choose a day among the three and partner with us. As the psalmist says in Psalms chapter 96 verse 3, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all his peoples. We have a medical camp coming up in the month of August. To that effect, we invite all medics interested for a meeting today, the 2nd of June 2024, at the DCIKZ main campus from 12.30 p.m. Please note, this meeting is for all medics interested. Karibu sana! Registration for the premarital counseling classes is ongoing. This is for all who would like to get married between September and December 2024. You can register by sending in your name and your partner's name and both your contacts to Pastor David Kibera, whose number is on the screen. Registration deadline is this Saturday, the 8th of June 2024. As we continue growing together, we would love to remind you that we have two campuses under the DCIKZ. The Sunday services at both campuses are as follows. So at the DCIKZ main campus, we have the first service starting at 7.30 a.m. all the way to 9 a.m. Followed by the second service, which will be having the Swahili interpretation starting at 10 a.m. all the way to 12 noon. Please note that both services at the DCIKZ main campus will be having Sunday school. And at the Shiloh Worship Center, we have the youth service starting at 8 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m. Followed by the second service starting at 10.30 a.m. all the way to 12.30 p.m. Please note that the second service at the Shiloh Worship Center is the only service with Sunday school. Come and let us enjoy the presence of the Lord together. We invite you to our weekly services at our campuses. At the DCIKZ main campus, we'll be having prayers all the hour of power every Monday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And every Wednesday, we will be having the times of refreshing all the midweek service from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. And at the Shiloh Worship Center, we'll be having prayers all the hour of power every Monday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. We will be having the times of refreshing every Wednesday from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. And every Friday we will be having the youth Bible study in Tyrannus Hall at the DCIKZ main campus from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Make sure you plug in as we grow together in Christ. To all our youth, we have the youth network meetings happening every Sunday after the first service at the Shiloh Worship Center. We have the Axis that is from age 18 to 23. We have the Young Professionals that is from age 24 to 27. And we have the Ablaze that is from age 28 and above. Make sure to plug in as we network and grow together in Christ. At the DCIKZ, we have various youth networks. Now this announcement is for the Axis, who are the young people between the age of 19 and 23. You'll be having a hike to the Moranga Gorges this coming Saturday, the 8th of June, 2024. Charges are only 1,500 bob, inclusive of transport, hiking, team building, photography, food, and snacks. 
Please forward your payment to the M-Pesa Pay Bill 701363. That is 701363. Account is Axis Kitty. Also forward the m -Pesa message to Joshua Irongo, whose number is on the screen. For all the Axis, he Nienu. The DCIKZ is definitely the church of choice. We have pastors that are ready to serve you. You can reach out to our pastors using the numbers on your screens for any spiritual matter. The DCIKZ feels just like home. Security starts with you and myself. We encourage all our car owners to please make sure that their cars are locked and all their windows are rolled all the way up. We also encourage all of us to not leave their belongings unattended to either in the sanctuary or within the compound. Therefore, I want all the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 8. To all the men, we invite you to a men's mini Kesha this coming Friday, the 7th of June 2024 from 6.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. This will be at the DCIKZ main campus. Tell a brother to tell a brother and save those dates. As a church, we understand that social media is a powerful tool that we can use to build relationships, reach more people, engage with our community during the week, and expand our outreach efforts. If you're feeling low, we have daily encouragements. To know what's coming up, we have updates. To see how the services were on Sundays, we have photos and videos that we take during the services. And for uplifting messages, we have weekly sermons that we upload from both the main campus and the Shiloh Worship Center. We also have reels and short videos because why not? You can catch this and so much more on our Facebook page at Deliverance Church International Kasarani Zimmerman, on Instagram at DCIK underscore Z, on X at DC Zima, and on YouTube at Deliverance Church Zimmerman. You can also find us on TikTok at DCIKZ. If you prefer to listen in to our sermons, you can catch our podcasts on Spotify and Podbean at Deliverance Church Zimmerman. The photos and videos that we take during the services are uploaded on our social media platforms. If for any reason you are not comfortable being posted on our socials, kindly reach out to the numbers on your screen and we will be more than glad to comply. So far, has your been tough? Has it been amazing? Or has it been a little bit of both? See, Paul tells us in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 18, that what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory that God will show us later. So keep hoping, keep believing, hold on there, and you are doing a great, great job. That has been my time for the on-screen announcements. As usual, you have been the loveliest of audiences. My name is Lily Nerima, and until next time, may June be one of your best months this year in Jesus' name. To begin well is not enough. The Bible says we are in a race. And the race is not to the swift. You may run too fast and die of, and die of speed. The race is not to the swift. It is for those who keep running and checking with the Holy Spirit. To ko poor Holy Spirit. To ko sour Holy Spirit. He whole he, he relationship yangu ni poor. Venye naomba na kufuraisha. Venye na tembea na na furaisha. The race. A good athlete has a watch. Or a timer to help them keep up with the pace. And they keep looking behind to see where the, the competitors are. Because they have to win. Bonus if you But Christian race, we are told it's not to the swift. Simbi yako, speed kills. Bonus if you But those who run with precision and with understanding of the kind of race that they are running. Are those that finish well. So you may begin well and not necessarily end up well. You have to keep running and asking the Holy Spirit.